Got milk? Not anymore. Everything is going just as I planned. Soon the entire world will be without dairy milk. No butter on toast, no ice cream, no cheddar cheese, and nothing but dry cereal. Nothing can stop me now. <laughs> Somewhere over the Mediterranean Sea. Would you like our Italian entree, sir? No, thanks. It gives me hives. Our vegetarian dinner, then? Nope. Gives me the vapors. Then may I recommend the Greek plate? It's delicious. All right, if you insist. Enjoy. Good to see you, Agent Fox. Ha! Ah, monkey Penny. Now this is a real TV dinner. Right. Yesterday, our spy operatives discovered the factories and offices of Amalgamated Moo Juice Incorporated abandoned and drained of milk. Soon, the entire world's remaining milk reserves will be depleted. The idea of eating dry breakfast cereal is pretty hard to swallow. Yes, it is. Here's the only clue we have. Feta cheese. A low grade, too. Spy operatives took that picture in the office of Mr. Howard Hugh Heffer Utterly III. President and CEO of Amalgamated Moo Juice Incorporated. Exactly. We presume he has valuable information on the dairy crisis. The only available picture of him is hidden in your mashed potatoes. Finding Utterly is your top priority. <coughs> He shouldn't be hard to spot. The feta cheese samples found in Utterly's office have been traced back to the island of Acidophilus. Your plane will be flying over the island any minute now. I've already set up the mobile command center where you'll rendezvous with me and later on with Quack. The entrance code is in your fortune cookie. Any questions? No, I'm on my way. Good. Monkey Penny, out. <laughs> All right, here we go. I left my parachute in my other tuxedo. Maybe one of my special spy gadgets will help me. Time to play I wonder Spy Fox I Dry play. Cereal. I don't think I can have my cake and eat it too. All right, let's try it. Surely this is the... Nope. This isn't such a safe bet. So that's where I left my anvil. Always the last one. It puts a little bounce in your day. Hmm. All right, so so here we go. This is the sleepy little Greek island of Acidophilus. I seem to have arrived unfashionably early, since nothing seems to be open. I should meet up with Monkey Penny at the Mobile Command Center. All right, here we go. Time to start off Spy Fog's Dry Cereal. Um... So I've already played the other humongous entertainment games on my channel, with which being uh, Pajama Sam and Putt Putt. So we are now moving on to Spy Fox, and then after Spy Fox, we'll be Freddy Fish, and then we'll finish. That'll be all for the um, that'll be all the humongous entertainment playthroughs. But Spy Fox, one of my personal favorites. It's a little older, uh, uh, you know, age group that I went for. I think Putt Putt is probably the youngest. Spy Fox, I think, is like ages. Um, Eight to ten, or something like that. Uh, not gonna need to call anyone yet. Hey, wanna see my tattoo? Your mother must be so proud. <laughs> I I do think the jokes in this game are pretty. Uh, or the humor in this game is pretty pretty good, pretty funny. Looks like it's closed. But yeah, we're. We're, this, these uh, these puzzles might take me a little bit longer. They're a little, a little more challenging than the, the than the um, you know, 
the Puj the Pup Pug games. The Pup Pug games are, are for a much younger audience. Let's see what's going on down here. Uh oh. Normally, I would karate chop my way right through a door, but this one seems to be made of solid steel. Yeah, nothing, nothing going on. Looks like we got to go to the headquarters first. See what we got in our. Uh... Bad guys are mean. Five 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 six two two zero. How? Five 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 six two two zero. Hello, Spycor Mobile Command Center. Penny, I've got your number. Now that's a person-to-person -person phone call. Glad you could drop in, Spy Fox. Hello, Monkey. That's Monkey Penny. So what do you think of Skycorp's new Greek Island Mobile Command Center? Impressive. Disguising it as a half-buried boat in the middle of the town square was a stroke of genius. Nobody would ever notice that. That was Professor Quack's idea. Where is Quack? Oh, he'll be here soon to refill the spy gadget vending machine. In the meantime, he sent a couple of things ahead for your mission. Good, because a spy without a gadget is like a shopping cart without a broken wheel. How apt. Now pay attention. This is Greek money. It's called drachmas. You may need to buy a few things around here on the island. And this is a... A toothbrush. And I sure could use one after that airplane meal. Don't put that in your mouth. It's not a regular toothbrush. It's a special laser toothbrush. Let me show you how it works. You hold the laser toothbrush, apply the minty fresh laser gel, push the button, then you can use it to cut through really thick steel. Hmm, I guess that's one way to fight cavities. So, do we have any idea where Mr. Utterly is being held? No solid evidence yet, but you might want to check out that feta factory down by the docks. Feta factory, huh? I thought I smelled something suspicious. Alright, so, looks like we got our first gadget. The spy toothbrush. It's been a while since I played this. Again, same thing as I mentioned with all the other uh, humongous entertainment games. I haven't played most of these games since I was like probably at most ten years My old. Spy watch is beeping. Spy Fox to Mobile Command Center. Please stand by. Spy Fox here. Hi, Spy Fox. Remember, you can call me via your spy watch anytime for help and information. Just press the mobile command button. Will do. Spy Fox, out. Yeah, I'm probably going to have to call a lot because I definitely forgot all the um, the puzzles and everything. <laughs> this is going to be like almost like I'm playing this for the first time. I mean, I'm sure some things will come back to me, but there are going to be a lot of times where I'm like, oh, I totally forgot what I was looking for. All right, um, see if we can use this on this wall. That's actually pretty cool. The laser toothbrush makes impervious steel doors pervious. All right, let's head into the Feta factory. Oh, what do we got going on up here? Now that's a big side of beef. No buts about it. That's Mr. Utterly, all right. And he's dangling over a pool of piranha. Now the question is, how am I going to get his rump roast down from there? Hmm, this must be the temperature control for this pool of piranha. Kind of an odd fixture for a feta cheese factory. The piranha pool seems to be getting hotter. Let's just make, let's just heat it all the way up, see what happens. The piranha pool can't get any hotter. The piranhas are already sweating. If that's possible, maybe that lever will help me get Mr. Utterly's rump roast down from there. I wonder if this is how they make beef jerky. All right, let's try freezing it. That makes the piranha pool colder. Let's just keep going all the way. Let's freeze these piranhas. 
Freeze them out. The little bees seem to be slowing down. Hmm. Yep. Fish on ice. That should hold them. Now for Mr. Utterly. All right. Now let's get Mr. Utterly down. <laughs> not today, piranhas. Not today. You saved me. Thank you, Mr. Um, uh, Fox. Spy Fox. Routine rescue, really? Now I need to get you to our mobile command center for a debriefing. Good. I need to change my pants. You've got to stop him, Mr. Fox. All right, just calm down, Mr. Utterly. Why don't you start from the beginning and tell us what happened? Well, it all started as a typical day at the office. When you're as important as I am, you're constantly fielding international cattle calls and reviewing grazing reports. Yep, you have to stay pretty sharp in the dairy biz. I immediately snapped into action. There were dozens of them. I fought them hoop and nail. Pow, 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 I did. My whole body is a weapon. Then suddenly, I smelled something revolting. It could only be one thing. Feta cheese! cheese. cheese. The stink was so overwhelming that I nearly passed out. Taking advantage of my momentary asphyxiation, kidnappers jumped me and then forced me into a smelly dark bag. They whisked me away to Kid's Secret Island Fortress. It was just so humiliating being bagged up like a... like a piece of beef. But were you able to learn anything about what William the Kid is up to? Well, thanks to a little bovine ingenuity on my part, I picked a few things up. Kid's demented scheme for gaining worldwide domination is run by a front company called Nectar of the Goats Corporation. He has a five-part master plan. First, capture all the dairy cows in the world. As you know, he's already done that. Second, he built that milky weapon of destruction inside his secret fortress. Third, use this milky weapon of destruction to flood the capital with none too fresh dairy milk. Fourth, frame all the poor dairy cows for this heinous crime. Fifth, take over the entire dairy world. Hi, folks. Someone needs to find that secret fortress and disarm that milky weapon of destruction. Hmm, sounds challenging. I need to find that secret fortress and disarm that milky weapon of destruction. Oh, I almost forgot. When William the Kid's back was turned, I swiped the secret code that turns the milky weapon of destruction off. Good going. Where is it? Uh, well, I had to swallow the code before I could read it so it wouldn't be discovered. Can you believe it? I find the whole thing a little hard to swallow. We need to figure out a way to get a look at that code. Someone needs to find that secret fortress and stop William the Kid. All right, well, we definitely progressed the story on a little bit, so now we need to get this X-ray tube. Gum. How does this work, Professor Quack? Oh, that's my new and improved beef flavor X-ray gun. I'll explain how it works. You take a stick out, put it up against something beefy, move it around, and then you can see the yucky stuff inside. The best part of all is, when you are done, you can chew the gum. It actually has a very refreshing, beefy flavor. You know, four out of five dentists prefer x-ray gum for their patients who need x-rays. A duck needs his fiber. All right, let's, uh, let's, let's we'll take it. Gum. All right, let's use this x-ray gum on Mr. Utterly. Now, if you don't mind, Mr. Utterly, I'm going to need to use this x-ray gum to take a look at those four stomachs of yours. This isn't going to hurt, is it? Because I get kind of dizzy when I think about pain. In fact, just saying the word pain makes me want to... Oh... Oh boy. 
Professor Quack. Your x-ray gum works perfectly. I can see everything inside Mr. Utterly's gut. Is that the disarm code? I found the note. All right, now I need to find out where that punch card is. Then use it to disarm the milky weapon of destruction. Anything else interesting in here that we should be looking for? If I had a wrench in me, I would wretch. If I had a wrench in me, I would wretch. Without that punch card, I won't be able to disarm the milky weapon of destruction. All right. The forecast, cloudy and windy today. All right, I guess uh, now we got to go get that punch card. It's like the trinket store is open, but uh, I think we need the trinket for something. Uh, but I definitely think we have to go over here first. Yeah, we need to get in this deck party. That's quite a nice little toy boat you got there. Is it yours? Oh, yes, sir. And that is why I'm standing out here at this podium on this filthy, seagull-stained dock talking to a sophisticated wannabe like you. So it's not your boat? No. It belongs to my boss. Well, let's just hop on Pardon it. Pardon me, sir, but just where do you think you're going? On board. Sir, you are obviously making a little joke. No one but no one is allowed to go on board the SS Deadweight without a gold-edged, wax-sealed, expensively embossed, handwritten invitation. And do you have one of these, sir? Not as such. Then I'm afraid, sir, that you should make like a plane in the Bermuda Triangle and get lost. I can gather information about the deck party with this. All right, let's uh, let's go find. Let's go get some information. I don't know anything about that, but do you want to see my tattoo? I don't want to see the tattoo. Oh, he changed his tattoo. Let's uh, let's check, see if uh. The trinket person knows anything. I noticed that there was a party going on down on that big ship at the docks. But I understand you can only go if you were invited. That is true. In fact, I am going as soon as I get off work. Oh, so you got an invitation. I certainly did. It is really a fancy schmancy one, too. Would you like to look at it? Why, yes. I would love to look at it. Let's take a look. I'm so impressed that you got an invitation to this fancy deck party. Will you be wearing your tuxedo? No, I have chosen one of my finest all-cotton t-shirts to wear. One that will show off my impressive pectoral muscles. I'm sure. What could anyone possibly do with a whole jar of trinkets? It could be a paperweight. You could make a unique lamp out of it. It could be turned on its side to roll out cookie dough. There must be a million and one uses. Can we take it? I'm sure you'll have a good time at the deck party. Yes, I intend to trip the lights fantastic on the dance floor. What's nice about these hats is that if you tilt the top up, they give some little rectangular candies which taste a little like soap. I think you've gotten a fez mixed up with something that sounds quite similar. All right, uh, well, let's, let's hop it. Let's go to the Greek cantina. Might be happy hour. Hi, honey. Welcome to the cantina. I'm Bee Bear. If there's anything I can get you, sugar, like, for example, sugar, you just let me know. All right? Thanks, Bee. Uh, I remember having... I do remember having to play this guy in, uh, in, call, in Go Fish. I do remember that being a nightmare. All right, let's try asking. What's with the weasel over by the SS Deadweight? He won't let me go to the deck party. Oh, honey, you won't get in the door without an exclusive invitation. Funny, though, the rabbit out at the souvenir stand always gets invited to those swank parties. Oh, really? I'll remember that. Well, I already figured that one out. So, you like playing the tango, do you? Oh, yeah. The tango really swings you crazy, cat. Plus, it's the only sheet music I have. Greetings. 
Interested in a little game of go fish, Mr. Fox? Spy Fox. I've been known to play go fish from time to time, and you are? Artemis J. Big Pig. Pleased to make your acquaintance, sir. What do you say we make this game a little more interesting? Would you care to play for some trinkets? I'm afraid I don't have anything I would call a trinket. How unfortunate. Why don't you come back when you have some trinkets to play with? Hmm, it makes the game so much more interesting. All right, it looks like I need to get some trinkets. Um, I, I do have some money, some drachma that I could use for the trinkets. And see what's up here. Still no one up there. All right, let's go um, buy that some trinkets, I get. I, trinkets, I guess. I'd love to take your money, sir, but wouldn't you like to buy something? Of course. Wait a minute. Is that a genuine Teddy Roosevelt teddy bear? Circa 1902? Yes, they are very rare. It may even be on the endangered antiquities list. All right, let's just buy something. I can't bear to pass up a deal like this. I'll take the teddy bear. Let me just get that for you. Ah! 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 Come on. Ah! Ah! Well, this is where I was supposed oh, to take his invitation, I guess. Actually, that is my little sister's teddy bear. I put it up there for a joke. It isn't for sale. Yeah, I guess I, guess I should have probably asked him. Would you mind if I looked at that invitation again? I'm just so impressed that you've got one. Certainly. Just be careful not to smudge it. All right, now... I'd like to purchase that fine stuffed kitty. All right, I'll get it for you. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Ah, I can't just take the little fellow's invite. He's so looking forward to that party. All I really need is a copy of it. Oh, we need a copy of it? All right. Oh, forget it. That may... I just remembered that you need a license to own a cat on this island. Even a stuffed toy cat. All right, we need to get. We need to make a copy of it, so that makes... All right. Um, we'll come back. Um, how do we make a copy of it? Let's try this again. We're gonna... We're gonna ask him to, to show it... Show it, uh... Would thing. you mind if I looked at that invitation again? I'm just so impressed that you've got one. Certainly. Just be careful not to smudge it. All right, now. Oh. My life needs a little direction right now. I think I'll buy that steering wheel. Let me wrap that up for you. Ah. Is there anything ah. I can use? Come on. I can't just take the little fellow's invite. Oh, forget it. No, no, it looks like Sorry, we need... the wheel's not for sale. You're welcome to come here to look at it whenever you like. Gee, thanks. All right, let's see if we can buy the jar of trinkets. So, what's a jar of trinkets going for these days? Uh, normally, sir, they're 20 drachmas. But for you, how about 50? Sounds good to me. I'll take it. There you go, sir. Why, thank you. All right, now let's go play Go Fish with, uh, what's his name? The, the pig guy. All right, let's go play Go Fish, see if we can get some information. Would you care to play some trinkets? I just happen to have a whole jar of trinkets. <laughs> Excellent, pet. I like a fox who is willing to play for trinkets with a pig who likes to play Go Fish for trinkets. Place your trinkets on the table and we'll get started. All right, um, uh, here we go. So, you like playing for trinkets, eh? All right, I'm game. Here's my trinket. Let's play. That's a lovely trinket you have there, sir. I'll play with this one. I think we have to keep playing until we end up getting something from him. Got any fours? New fish, sir. Got any... Tools. Oh boy. I just remember this being impossible. Nice try, but you need to go fish. Got 
any jacks? A card. <laughs> Thank you so much. Got any aces? Ha <laughs> ha. Killing it. Got any fives? No, sir. Go fish. All right. Got any nines? Nope. Go fish. Ha <laughs> ha. Got any eights? Got any eights. Yes, sir. A card. Thank you so much. Got any tens? Got any tens? <laughs> Go fish. This is the way he looks like, <laughs> looks at me when it, that happens. Got any king. Go fish. I know you have a two. Got any twos? Yeah, I knew that. Um, sixes? Got any sixes? <laughs> um, I don't think he has anything Got else. Any fours. Not a one sir. Go fish. Two Got five. Any threes. Nice try, but you need to go fish. Let's try tens Got again. Any tens. Go fish, Mr. Fox. Oof. Got a new king. Go fish. How delightful. Got any queens? Nope. Go fish. All right. This is getting a little annoying. Um. Got any sixes? Go fish, sir. Got any nines? Go fish. Got any twos? <laughs> Go fish. All right. Got, Got a third four. Kings. Go fish. He keeps asking about these kings every time. Got any aces? No, sir. Go fish. Got any nines? Nice try, but you need to go fish. Got any queens? <laughs> Got any fives? Got any fives? Not a one, sir. Go fish. I forget how you win go fish. Got any... Seven. Yeah, I should have probably asked that one last time. Nice try, but you need to go fish. Oh, uh, right. I have to ask first. Got any threes? Uh, I'll just take those off your. Oh team. wow! I this completed that just one. Fine. Got any jack? Go fish, Mr. Fox. Oh, wow. That's... I should have asked for the aces instead. Uh, how delightful. That gives me a soup, sir. Got any nines? Go fish. You definitely have sevens. Got any sevens? Oh, yes. I love this game. Got any fours? Go fish, sir. I've always Ooh, been got another one. Comes to go fish. Got any king. Nice try, but you need to go <laughs> See, fish. He is sweating. He is sweating now. Got any twos? Not a one, sir. Go fish. Ooh, only one more queen. Five. Ah, that stinks. Got any nines? Nice try, but you need to go fish. Got any queens? No, sir. Go fish. I've always oh, we got our queens. Comes to go fish. That's one set of cards taken care of. Got any fours? Go fish, Mr. Fox. Oh, another ten. Got any sixes? Ah. Uh. Got any fives? Go fish. Got, got any, any tens? Tens? <laughs> go fish. Oh, there's a ten. Got any twos? New fish, sir. Ooh. This suits we definitely won. Nine. We're definitely gonna win. Got any fours? <laughs> Go fish. Got any eights? Ah, uh, of course. <laughs> Got any sixes? Nope. Go fish. Good. <laughs> I'm good. Got any nines? Oh, wow. I love this game. Got any fours? 
Go fish, Mr. Fox. Yeah, we definitely won. We definitely definitely won this round. Eights. Go fish. Got any sixes? <laughs> That's uh, one set of cards. Poor, poor, of. poor pig. I remember this game being really hard when I was like, I remember it took me a lot, lot of tries to beat him. Got any fours? Ah, oh, wow! Now he gets a four. I must apologize, sir. I am rather good at this game. Mm -hmm. Got any eights? Nope. Go fish. Got any kings? I'll just take those off your hands. I've always been lucky when it comes to go fish. Got any tens? Not a one, sir. Go fish. Oh! This suits me just fine. I win! <clears throat> oh, that's right. You never lose. There's a first time for everything, Mr. Big Pig. I hate to leave such a challenging opponent, but I have some bigger fish to catch right now. Do you mind if I leave my jar of trinkets here? Go right ahead, sir. Come back any time. Alright, so now that that's... Now that we played a game, honestly, didn't really get anything out of it. For a spy on the go, I recommend the chicken knuckles. It's your funeral, honey. All right, we'll take the chicken knuckles. All right, we'll see. We'll see if we can give this to anyone. All right, let's see if we can get uh, something out of the machine to copy. I just need something. What is this? What's in this egg-shaped container, Professor Quack? This is a little gadget I call the Spy Putty. What you do is open the cute little egg container and spread the putty on whatever you want to make a copy of. Press down and then peel the putty off. You have a perfect copy. Hmm, that looks rather silly. I know what you're thinking. You think that the spy putty looks a lot like that silly stuff they sell in toy stores. What you don't know is that I thought of it first. All right, well, that is exactly what we need Those here. duplicitous duplicators stole my idea. That is exactly what we need here. All right, now let's go make a copy of that invitation so we can get on the boat. All right. Oh, uh, where is it? Yes. Oh wait, no. We need. I'm getting ahead of myself. I need to get the use the. Uh, I need to go up here. <laughs> getting ahead of myself. I need to get the coins. Or no, I need to ask him first. Right, the bubble. It's a three-step process. Do you think it would be okay if I borrowed your invitation? Of course not. But I will let you peruse it again. Now we use the coins to get. I've just decided what I'm going to get my mother for her birthday. I'll take that fish up there. Good. That thing is really beginning to smell. Let me get it down for you. Now we use ah. the silly putty. Ah. Ah. Or the spy putty, rather. Ah. Ah. Oh, forget it. I just remembered I cannot sell you that particular fish. My Uncle Ian is having it for lunch. All right, we got our invitation. Now we can head back. I knew I was going to figure it out eventually. It just took me a couple tries. Now we can use the invitation to get on board. Not you again. How many times do I have to tell you? This is a private party, and without an invitation, you are not allowed to go on board. Sheesh! A mirror of something. You think they would. Yay! Let me see that. Signed, Russian Blue. Oh, sir, we are ever so honored to have you on board with us today. Please, feel free to come and go as you wish. Why, thank you. How gracious of you. All right, what we are... I trust you will have an enjoyable visit. 
And if there is any way in which I can kiss up some more, sir, I trust you will let me know. But of course. Now, this is the deck party. Before I join the festivities, I should let Monkey Penny know I'm here. Spy Fox to Mobile Command Center. Please stand by. Hi, Spy Fox. How's the mission progressing? I just made it onto the SS Deadweight. I'm going to take a look around. Good. Keep your eyes peeled for clues as to where William the Kid's secret fortress is. If Kid's fortress is so secret, how can we know about it? We're spies, Spy Fox. It's our job to know. And we are good at our jobs. Spy Fox out. All right, so let's see where we should go first. Let's talk to the cat first. Hello. You must be... Russian Blue. Noted socialite and attractive owner of the SS Deadly. My name's Fox. Spy Fox. Would you care to dance, Miss Blue? I would love to, Mr. Fox. But there is only one dance on this planet I will dance to. And that is the tango. I love the tango. Do you know why I love the tango, Mr. Fox? That funky beat? Because it takes two to tango. Interesting. I've never done the math on that. I can gather information about Russian Blue with this. All right. Uh, he's playing the waltz right now, so we need to find a way to change that. Tell me about Russian Blue, Maestro. She throws a party like none other. I hear that a good tango puts a spell over her, too. What do you mean? Oh, it's all the rumors, you see. This crowd prefers a waltz anyway. I see. Thank you, sir. I need to talk to Monkey Penny about tracking Russian Blue's movements. All right, let's talk to Monkey Penny. Please stand by. Hi, Spy Fox. Have you found William the Kid's secret fortress yet? Not yet. Have you been able to find any more clues on the Spy Corps computer? Not yet. Let's keep snooping around. I'm sure we'll find something. Uh, we might have to go back to headquarters to get another one of those gadgets. Let's see what we can get. Let's see if there, yeah, let's see if there's any more gadgets we can pick up. What is this? It appears to be a shoe. What is this gadget, Professor Quack? Oh, that's the night vision shoe. One of my most ingenious inventions. If you happen to find yourself in a dark place, all you do is strap the shoe onto your head and then you can see in the dark. How illuminating. Yes, and it has excellent art support. I don't know if we need that one. That one's like a safe cracker. What does this, Is this do? Is this coin really a spy gadget, Professor Quack? Ah, that's the spy trap. Let me explain how it works. It looks like an ordinary coin, like you might find in the street. But if you need to trap three or more bad guys, the coin explodes and a net shoots out. It traps the naughty spy enemy. Nice, huh? Heads I win, tails they lose. I'm going to lose my appetite if I keep this up. Um, what about these? What handsome cufflinks. Are they gadgets as well, Professor Quack? Those are the suction cufflinks. I am very proud of them. They are tiny suction cups that allow you to climb across non-porous metal surfaces. The perfect fashion accessory for the well-dressed spa. Mm. How many more blueprints? That was a tasty one. Can we make Quack eat? I think that's it. Now, what is this spy gadget used for again? Is it just a snack? Oh no! That is the Cheese and Safe Cracker Kit. It will help you crack any safe in the world. When it comes to opening safes, cheese and crackers make a winning combination. They sure taste better than these blueprints. 
All right, so I don't think any of those are going to help us yet. Um, so I'm not going to take any, but we're definitely going to need some of those later. Let's go back on the ship, see if we can, uh, see if we can ask anyone information. What do you know about Ms. Russian Blue, if I may ask? We maintain a strictly professional relationship. She's my employer, you see? Yes, I realize that. What are her hobbies? Of course, there's always the tango, her passion in life. I need to talk to Monkey Penny about tracking Russian Blue's movements. All right, I guess I have to go back to Monkey Penny and um, ask her about Russian Blue. That's what I should have. That's, that's what I was came down here for, and then I got distracted by the uh, the gadgets. Monkey Penny, what can you tell me about this Russian Blue I met over on the SS Deadweight? I'm glad you asked. Direct your attention to the screen. Here's what the Spy Corps database has on her. Name, Russian Blue. She also goes by Ms. Blue, Old Blue, and Kitty Kitty Kitty. Occupation, owner and operator of the SS Deadweight, head of public relations for NOG, close associate of William the Kid, and one bad kitty. Known felonies? Indecent tangling. Acquitted. Dancing with intent to tango? Acquitted. J tangling? Acquitted. Tangling out of season? Acquitted. Comments. Russian Blue is obviously in cahoots with William the Kid. She's not only very dangerous, but she might be the perfect source of information regarding Kid's whereabouts. Interesting. It sounds like I should keep an eye on her. Better still. Why don't you slip one of our tracking bugs into her purse? Then we can trace her movements all over the island. Walter Wireless is ready to go. Hey, Walter. You need Russian Blue followed? I'm your bug. I'm on her like fleas on a dog. Or a cat, as it were. Excellent. Glad to have you aboard, Walt. Hop in. All right. We got Walter. Now we just need to get the tango to play. All right, let's see who else we let's see what else we can uh, find up here. We need to change the music somehow. Is there any no? There might be something in here, um, like a gadget I could use, but I don't think there's anything in here right now. Let's see. Why do people put roses in their mouths while dancing the tango? Thorns in the mouth help dancers hold that pained expression, which is so necessary to the game. Maybe I need to go back to the Go Fish guy. Maybe he can tell me something. Yeah, let's go back to the cantina. All right, we'll ask. Let's, so, let's... Is the food here any good? Well, between you and me, sweetie, let's just say it's no coincidence that you don't see any rats in this part of town. Uh, let's ask about Russian Blue. So, B, I imagine you've heard of Russian Blue. Heard of her? Ha! Russian Blue's a living legend on the island of Acidophilus. Spill some beans for me, then. Not that I'd accuse her of any shenanigans. But she runs with a dangerous crowd. We do need to get this tango sheet, though, somehow. Excuse me, what do you know about Russian Blue? I got the music in me. Ow, ow. I got the music in me. Huh? What? Russian Blue. Do you know her? That cat tangos like there's no tomorrow. Yeah, I need to get this tango sheet somehow. What else can you tell me about Russian Blue? It depends on your game, little fox. Just that the best way to distract her is with a tango. Aha, I'll remember that. 
Yes, I know the tango, so I need to get this from him somehow. Just don't know how to get that from him. I'm gonna have to distract somehow. Well, let's see if uh, these guys know anything. Actually, the person come in yet? No? Still locked? That door is still locked. What do you know about Russian Blue? I know that her greatest passion in life is the tango. It virtually puts her into a trance. That's why I'm taking tango lessons. I see. Yeah, everyone's telling me the same thing. I just, I need to find a way to uh, swap those, the play sheets, the music sheets. All right, perfect. I've never been involved in a waltz napping before. All right, we got the waltz. Now we got to go get that tango sheet. And then that should get that should get uh what's her name? Blue to I'll open up. All right, let's swap these out. What would you think about playing something a little slower for a change? Like I told you, man, I would if I could. So, unless you've got some new sheet music for me, the tango extravaganza continues. Would you trade me some of your tango music for some of this waltz music? Would I? I've been dying for some new tunes. Thanks. No, no, no. Thank you, Mr. Too Cool for a Foxy White Suit Jacket Guy. You are beautiful, baby. Don't go changing. Nah. Give this gentle fox a Brussels sprout soda and put it on my tab of Rooney, sweet. You don't have a tab, Johnny. Too bad. All right, cool, cool, cool. We got the tango. Now we should be good to distract Russian Blue. Let's see this trance that everyone keeps talking about. Alright, let's let's put the tango up. What do you think you're doing? Nothing, just looking. I guess I didn't time it right. There we go. Hmm, I guess you can teach old dogs new tricks. Here we go, tango time. Wow, she really is. She really is quite something. All right, I need to put this. There we go. Easy peasy. Wow, she is really good at that, though. I love to tango, but now I must attend to some important business. Thank you for the divine tango, Miss Blue. All right, well, let's, I guess we go back to headquarters. Hey, better answer my spy watch. It could be about my dry cleaning. Please stand by. Hello, Monkey Penny. What's up? Spy Fox, one of our informants, Mata Harry, has turned up some vital information you may need to complete your mission. Rendezvous with her in front of the Nectar of the Goats factory door. We interrupt this program to bring you a special spy report. Let's go to a close-up for this one, Steve. This is Walter Wireless, your undercover tracking bug, coming to you live inside the purse of Russian Blue. Just moments ago, Russian Blue ran off her boat, jumped in her sports car, and sped out of the parking lot. Do you have any idea where she's headed? We are presently speeding down what feels like a winding paved road towards an unknown location. We have just taken a sharp left, now a right. She is driving like a wildcat. I'll bring you more on this breaking story as it... Wait a minute, the car seems to be slowing down. Yes, it's come to a complete stop. I can't tell what's happening yet. Hang on. 
Oh no, my cover has been compromised. Mayday, mayday. For Spycore News, this is Walter Wireless signing off. Did you see that, Monkey Penny? Sure did. You better see if you can pick up his trail. Professor Quack finished his repairs on your car. I'll have it waiting for you in the town square, just behind the mobile command center. You better hurry, Spy Fox. Walt was one of our best field bugs. And don't forget about meeting up with the informant, Mata Harry, by the Feta factory. I'm in there like swimwear. Spy Fox, out. All right, let's go meet up with our informant. Monkey Penny said to meet Mata Harry here. I wonder where she's hiding. The hog in the fog fell into a bog. So the frog called the dog and had him bring a log. Hello, Asian Fox. Hi, Mata Harry. What do you have for me? I intercepted what I think may be some sort of coded password, but I have no idea what it means. I'm sure it's important, though. All right, let's hear it. It goes like this. The weak black cat. What a curious phrase. <whistles> I'm sure you'll figure it out, Asian Fox. You always do. That's true, I do. All right, I gotta go chase down another lead. Ta-ta. Thanks, Mata. A hiding place like that must be really draining for her. All right, we got another lead, okay. Let's go, uh, let's go get our car now, I guess. Chase down Russian Blue. Oh, there's our I car. I need to follow the trail Walter left for me on the spy radar. Alright, looks like it's this way. Uh, yep. Uh-oh. That's not the right way. All right, let's try that again. Yep, this way. Okay. Where did I mess up? How did I mess up before? Nope. So, I... I thought I, I thought I clicked the other way before the first time. That's why I was confused. I, I that's what that's why I thought I was confused a lot. Like, cause I definitely went to click the other way the last time. I guess I didn't register my click. Cause I definitely did this before. Clicked that one before. Or at least I tried to. Here, oh, there we go. Should be the last one, I think. Yep, here we are. This was probably a nice place until someone came along and ruined it. I'm right over here, Spy Fox. Walter, what happened? Where did Russian Blue go? Sorry, Spy Fox. My cover was compromised. I thought I was going to get squashed there for a second, but luckily she dropped me and ducked into a secret passageway. I need to bug out of here. She mentioned something about an exterminator, and I don't have my gas mask. Yeah, you'd better get going. Thanks for your help, Walt. My pleasure. Until next time, this is Walter Wireless signing off. And that's the way it is. How do we get through this that's door? Odd. The Greeks didn't use hieroglyphics. Wait a second. I recognize it now. It's the ancient hieroglyphic language of the infamous Minoan Musaka cult. My Musaka hieroglyphic reading is a little rusty, but I know I can figure this out. This symbol stands for happy. Well, that didn't work. All right, what was this again? The weak black cat. The weak... This is what I hope William the Kid turns out to be. Weak. This must be a part of some sort of secret password or code phrase. Black cat. This hieroglyphic means black. 
This one has nine lives. It means cat. Black. No, no. I, turn that back on. I want to turn the... Black. I want to turn the smiley face off. Happy. Looks like this secret passage isn't so secret anymore. Here we go. Now it's... I'm definitely going to need a gadget to get across this, I feel like. Curious. Could there really be a plumbing problem in Kid's Fortress? Maybe the water isn't too deep. Ah! Voracious snapping turtle! With a taste for fox, I'd wager. And I think I'd better think of a way across that'll keep me from being turtle food. I think I need to get those cufflinks. Yeah, I think I need to get the cufflinks. So let's go back to headquarters and pick up the cufflinks to get us back across. I don't think we have to go through the whole thing again. Yeah, just teleports us back over here. All right, let's head back, get ourselves a new gadget. I wonder if I should just pick up the, the, all these at once now. Definitely gonna need these. I, I don't think I need the I don't now, think I need the uh, the gum anymore. Again? Is it just a snack? Oh, I actually I don't I don't need to, to listen to again. In case we need to open a safe. And anything else? That's the night vision shoe. All right, we'll uh, we'll hold on to these. We'll hold on to these, but yeah, I think the cufflinks is what we need. All right, let's head back over now. We should be able to get past that waterfall. All right, let's try let's try using these couplings to get across. I think that's probably the way to do it. These suction couplings should help me form a closer attachment to this wall. All right, um, I guess I guess I'm gonna have to time it. <laughs> Literally, as soon as I... Are you kidding me? As soon as I clicked it. No time to hit the shower. All right. I think I know what I need to do now. I think I know what I have to do. We're just good. We need to be patient. We're going to wait for this next one. There we go. Now we're going to move over. Look at that. Perfect. Move back. Oh. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. All right. Stop. Go, 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 go. Yes. My section cufflinks here in case I need to make a fast getaway later. All right, that was annoying. That actually took me a lot more tries than I would have liked to admit. I'd better let Monkey Penny know I made it inside Kid's Secret Fortress. Spy Fox to Mobile Command Center. Please stand by. Spy Fox, I'm glad you checked in. How's it going? Smooth, as smooth as sandpaper underpants. I just got into Kid's Secret Fortress. Excellent. Now you've got to disarm that milky weapon of destruction. I'm in there like swimwear. Spy Fox out. All right, we're in there like swimwear. Now how uh, are we getting through? What is this? We don't have an outfit. Got it. I guess we'll try going this way. Not only giving me the eye, it gave me the boot. I better look for a uniform. Yeah. Interesting. This looks like some sort of locker room for kids' evil minions. All right, let's see if there's an outfit in here. It's a secret passageway. 
Oh, yeah, this is how we open it. Okay. What a clever secret entrance. William the Kid can go from the town square to his secret fortress anytime he wants. Grande fromaggio. All right. Italian for the big cheese. How droll. I'd better leave this door unlocked in case I need to get back in here later. All right, that is actually very helpful now that this door is unlocked. Now we can just take that right back, all right? But yeah, we definitely need to, now we need a uniform. All right, is there any uniforms in any of these lockers? Does not look like I it. I wonder what this diagram is for. It looks strangely significant. That might we might need to know that. So left, right, right, up, up. Oh, here we go. I'll bet this is the official nectar of I could I could have sworn I clicked on everything, but I guess I missed uh, I guess I must no have missed one would this one. Me in one of these. But yeah, if we do we finally got the jumpsuit. I swore I clicked on everything, but I guess I I clearly didn't. I guess I missed that one spot. But let's put on the jumpsuit now. Uh oh, someone's coming. I better hide. Ooh, it's Russian blue. The dastardly William the Kid that everyone's so worked up about. Ms. Blue, take this piece of paper from the easel in my office. It has the location of the punch card written on it. You must destroy it. That punch card is the only thing that can disarm the milky weapon of destruction now. Right away, your imperial goatness. I've deposited the money in your bank account. Thanks for all your help. It's a pleasure doing business with you. Call me anytime. I need to get my hands on that punch card he mentioned. <laughs> All right, so I do. I think the it was left, right, exactly like that right, up, up. Over in the locker room. Now I need to move these levers to the positions shown in the diagram. I think that was right. Uh, let's see what's here first. This must be where William the Kid keeps his controls for the milky weapon of destruction. I should let Monkey Penny know I've made it here. Spy Fox to Mobile Command Center. Please stand by. Spy Fox, good to hear from you. What's up? I'm in William the Kid's control room. The launching panel for the Milky Weapon of Destruction is right here. Great. Now all you'll have to do is find the missing punch card so you can disarm the Milky Weapon of Destruction. Right. That shouldn't be too difficult. Spy Fox out. All right, we got to get that punch card. So we should be able to go up. Uh, yep. All right. Let's take. Let's take this. This must be some sort of tram to take people around in Kid's fortress. It looks like a billboard. That does Wonder indeed look a like one. In the middle of a secret fortress. All right. Let's keep moving. Can all that milk be but all right? Let's see what's in here. Those guards are in ready position. I wonder what they're guarding. You think we can just walk right through? Hey, where do you think you're going? Oh, hi. I'm from the accounting office. 
I was asked to count all the offices. I need to get into that room and make sure it's really an office. If you're from the accounting office, you know perfectly well that this is William the Kid's office. No one but the Grand Goathead himself is allowed in there. Oh, right. Of course. How silly of me. That's the office that really counts. Sorry to bother you. I need to get into Kid's office and take a look around. Maybe I can use that quarter gadget. There's one sound the ear can hear better than any others. The sound of falling money. They should get a tickle from this nickel. All over a nickel. <laughs> Who's going to crack first? Perfect. You must be one dedicated accountant. We have to count that office, ma'am. Oh, this must be Kid's secret volcano office. I should take a look around. This must be the paper William the Kid mentioned. Now, can I get the location of that punch card? I don't want to disturb any possible clues. I'll leave this paper here. Can you, what, do you just draw stuff? I should leave this paper here. There could be a clue on it. Looks like we found something here. American Gothic Red, uh, Blue, Yellow? American Gothic Red, Blue, Yellow. Can I, can I take it with me? I should leave this paper here. There could be a clue on it. Oh, wait, I think that's... Okay, that's the, the portrait back... Okay, I get it now. I get it now. I have to go to the American Gothic painting in that office, and it's red, blue, yellow. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. Figuring... It, it takes me a minute. A little slow sometimes, but I do figure things out eventually. There's going to be a lot of editing to make myself look smarter, like it didn't take me as long as it did to beat the game. American Gothic, red, blue, yellow. Got it, got it, got it, got it. I've been itching to take this jumpsuit off. I think whomever this belonged to had fleas. Alright, I think it's the bottom left. It was this painting that inspired the native regionalist style, a style quickly embraced by the likes of Edward Hopper, Diego Rivera, and Max Beckman. Since I own the original, this must be a forgery. Now that's a button of a different color. Wow, I was literally... Wall face. What an original like, I, I just had to start messing with the bottom color and I would have gotten it. All right, now what is... Uh, oh, we can use uh, this gadget here. This cheese and safe cracker chip should do the trick. Four sixteen, all right. Okay, now for the tricky part. This seems to be working. 
It's almost criminal how easy this is going to be now. All right, four to the right, now to the left, one. One more to go. And then six to the right. I'm easy. Amazed. Sometimes I amaze even myself. Those must be the punch cards. Which one do I need? Oh boy, I don't know. Which one do we need? I actually don't know. I actually don't know. Maybe this is the punch card I need. I don't know. We're going to have to go back and look because I actually do not remember. Let's try. Consider this punch card returned. This one might be the one I'm looking for. We're, we're, we'll, we'll try this middle one. I actually, I, again, I do not remember. I better close the safe. I don't want anyone to suspect that it's been tampered with. Let's actually go back and take a look at what's his name, Utterly, again. We'll, we'll use that, the gum. to do this to you, Mr. Utterly, but I'm afraid I need to take another peek inside you. No! Forget it! I absolutely refuse to take part in this again. I don't care if it does help me get in touch with my inner calf. I will not be used as... Oh, oh dear. Thank you. I wonder if Mr. Utterly has to take four antacid tablets when his stomachs are... Alright, so it's the, it's the six middle ones. I think that's actually the one I grabbed. Right? I think that's the one I grabbed. No, I didn't. I didn't. I have to go back and get the six middle ones. All right, back to the safe. Safes and I have always had a Yeah, we need the bottom right one. So we're going to return this one. I'd better put this card back. And we'll take this, this one. This might be the one I'm looking for. Yeah, that should be the one we need. Now, let's go back to William the Kid's office. Or not this office, but back to the control room, whatever that thing's called. Actually, I don't know why I left. Should have just taken the couch. All right, here we go. Usually, I wouldn't wear somebody else's clothes, but sometimes you have to walk on the wild side. All right, let's, now we head back to that control, that room, put in the punch card. I hope this is the right punch card. need to go get that goat not so fast my crafty friend you may think you have outfoxed me by disarming my milky weapon of destruction but I'm afraid it's too late to save your precious cows it's over Billy give yourself up don't ever call me Billy it's William and it's not over yet my foxy nemesis when I pull this lovely lever, the cow's stables will become completely flooded with milk. And that will be the end of the dairy world as we know it. That's the most despicable thing I've ever seen. <laughs> <coughs> ah, 
Man, this is really rich. Kid, you're kidding yourself if you think I'm going to let you get away with this. It's too late. And now, if you'll excuse me, Mr. Fox, I have a flight to catch on my giant metallic getaway blimp where I will implement my plan to take over the world, filling it with my delicious goat byproducts. Delicious? You must be insane. Insane, you say? You're the crazy one, if you think you can save the cows. Adios, Mr. Fox, and good luck finding this secret passageway to the stables. You'll need it. Thanks for leaving a little clue, kid. Now, all I have to do is find that ascot. All right, let's go see if we can find William the Kid. And stop him from, or, you know, get, get, uh, bring him to justice, rather. Kid's ascot. This must be the secret passageway to the stables where Kid is holding the cows. I'd better hurry. Uh, how do we get over there? This should be easy. Uh oh. Can't swim past these alligators. They're looking at me like I'm bait. Um, can I throw this at them? Wow, this is act this worked. Well, well, well. It looks like these gators like these chicken knuckles. There has got to be a way to get myself to the other side. Hmm. So they do like those, but now what? So they like the chicken knuckles. I'd love to get across these gators. I wish they'd take a nap after eating these chicken knuckles. Oh, I need to put some sauce on the chicken knuckles. Ch chicken knuckles, I think. All right, we got to go back and put some sleeping sauce or something on them. All right, let's go back, uh, take the couch again, go back to the cantina. I hate to be caught out of uniform, but then again, I hate to be caught in general. All right, back to the cantina. Beat Bliss. It smells funny. Secret sauce. May, May cause, cause drowsiness and alligators. Well, that's the one we need. It says, secret sauce. Do I dare be? You tell me, spy guy. All right, now we should be good to go. Let's head back to those alligators. They should be nice and drowsy for us so we can catch William the Kid. Alright, time to put the suit back on. This uniform is a fashion nightmare. I should leave them the name of my tailor. Alright, up back up here. 
I think this is just one of the alt one of the endings. Or I think there's a different one where you have to, I remember I remember playing this before where you had to like learn different like karate moves to fight one of the the guards or something. So I think this is just one of the ways that you could get. There's like I think it's an alternate path. All right, now let's give them these. All right, let's see how the chicken knuckles seasoned with secret sauce affect the gators. Feel a little sleepy, huh? Feel a little sleepy. Hey, the secret sauce is putting them to sleep. An alligator skin bridge. See you later, alligator. Here we go. The kidnapped dairy cows. I've found them. Hang on, everyone. My name is Spy Fox, and I'll rescue you shortly. Continue treading milk, and I'll be right there. I hereby declare you free range cows. Look at us. We did it. Uh oh. Yeah, now we have to go cat go catch him. Thank you. One spy fox. But you're wrong. Go ahead. Free the cows this time. But I'll be back. To milk the world yet again. <laughs> Not so fast, kid. The last thing the world needs is another escaped goat. All right, let's go catch him. I think if you do nothing, the game just ends. Um... And you get like the bad ending. This road ends just ahead. This'll eject me right onto Kid's Blimp. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think if you do nothing, it just uh now that gets the bad secret. ending. I'd better check in with Monkey Penny. Spy Fox to Mobile Command Center. Please stand by. Spy Fox. Have you found William the Kid yet? I'm on his escape blimp now. Professor Quack says he can see you on the radar. Spy Fox, you can't let William the Kid get away. But what about the sequel? There are other supervillains out there. We'll be fine. That's true. What should I do when I nab him? We've already set up a mobile evil villain jail. Monkey Penny, do you have the coordinates for the evil villain jail? Yes. The coordinates are 8 degrees north, 16 degrees east. You need to fly the blimp over it. I'll transmit the coordinates to the spy watch in case you need to look at them again. Now I need to maneuver this ghastly blimp to that location. I'll get that dastardly villain. 8 north, 16 east. Got it. Thank you. All right. Let's let's go uh, let's go get um put William the kid in jail. Looks like someone didn't finish their lunch. Well, you never know when you might need a piece of stale rye bread. Never know. That's what I always say. All right, let's uh how do we get there? I guess this is the only way. This looks like some sort of conveyance between the front and the back of Kid's Blimp. So we can't go that way? If I want to get to the other side of the blimp, it looks like I'll need to find another way. Alright, let's go back down. Let's use this. This reminds me of my high-flying days in the Spy Air Corps. That looks like the entrance to the front of Kid's overblown blimp. I've got to get over there. I hope this old rust bucket with wings is airworthy. Easy enough. Grab it, Spy Fox. Grab it! There you go. Uh -oh. This must be the control room for Kid's diabolical getaway blimp. A 
navigation panel. Now I can use the coordinates Monkey Penny sent me via the spy watch to maneuver this dastardly contraption over the evil villain jail. Then I can finally put William the Kid where he belongs. 8 north and 16 east. Perfect. Now I just need to find a way to get Kid out of this blimp and into evil villain jail. Um, I can't go back down there. I ditched the plane. Aha! The ejection seat controls must be here. I can finally throw Kid into evil villain jail. Looks like we just got to eject him. That's where the ejection seat controls are. I need to get inside that. I need a screwdriver to open this panel. All right, how do we get a screwdriver? Do I have anything that I can use here? Here's where I keep my spy gadget. No, nope, not really. All right, let's go back. This will take me to the back of the blimp. Can we use this? An electric screwdriver set. Perfect. Come in handy. You never know when you might need to drive some screws somewhere. All right, now let's pop this bad boy open. That did the trick. Hmm, what an interesting device. It's just like the toaster we have back at Spy Corps Cafeteria. All right, bread A piece plus of bread down bread might do the trick. Equals eject. My trap is set. I better hurry. What's going on? The blimp is changing course. Sorry, kid. I have a little errand I need to run. Hmm? What? Spy box? I'm really getting tired of your meddling in my dairy domination plans. Yes, well, I do have a tendency to show up and ruin evil villains' schemes. I just thought I'd toast your accomplishment before you go. Go? What do you mean by that? Too bad there was only one parachute. Ooh, that looked Ooh. Evil. I guess Kid will be serving up his goat by products in evil villain jail from now on. I would have gotten away my black. Spy Fox! Spy Fox! You'll pay for this! I'll be back! No jail can hold William the Kid. Later that day. Walter Wireless here with our top story. Spy Fox has saved the dairy starved nations of the world from a near disastrous milk shortage. Today at the Capitol, the president is honoring Spy Fox as the nation's new hero. We now go live to the presidential press room where the ceremony is already in progress. For outstanding heroism and suaveness in the face of utter dairy chaos and for bringing the nefarious William the Kid to justice. I award you, Spy Fox, our nation's highest honor. May I present you with the Big Daddy Congressional Cookie of Justice. Why, thank you, Mr. President. It was a routine mission, really. Three cheers for Spy Fox. I've got my cookie. Has anyone got milk? All right. And that was Spy Fox Dry Cereal. 
I think Spy Fox is one of the better written characters out of all the uh, Humongous Entertainment series. I mean, it's definitely for a slightly older uh, audience, still for kids, obviously, but I would say Putt-Putt is like that age, age like four to like six years old. Uh, Pajama Sam and Freddy Fish is maybe like five to eight, and then I would say Spy Fox is probably like ages eight to ten. This is... Um, I definitely played this game last out of all the Humongous games growing up. You know, this is probably the the, um, the last one out of the, the big four that I played. But I definitely think that uh, the writing in Spy Fox is great. It's very funny. It even told, I think it holds up well today. Um, I think the puzzles in the game is a little bit more in-depth than some of the other ones. It's not as simple, which makes it more um, replayable, more fun, more... Um, you know, in depth more. Uh, so I definitely enjoy Spy Fox. Probably my second favorite. Um, of, you know, out of all of them, I still think Nowhere to Hide or It's Dark Outside is probably my personal favorite. But Dry Cereal is great. Um, so next one, we're gonna move on to. I believe the second one is Assembly Required. Um, and then from there, Operation Ozone. And then after that, we'll do Freddy Fish. And then. We will have completed all of the Humongous Entertainment games. So, yeah, I know my channel is mostly backyard sports, but these games were also a big part of my childhood. So I definitely wanted to at least, uh, you know, get through all these Humongous Entertainment games at least once and, you know, relive relive some of my, my childhood days, some of my glory days. <laughs> but this was uh, Spy Fox Dry Cereal. Like I said, uh, next one will be assembly required whenever i get whenever i get around to it these episodes definitely take me longer to play than the backer games um so we'll, we'll see but the definitely i will definitely get around to it at some point but that's gonna do it for this one till next time catch y'all later would have gotten away with my evil plan if it weren't for that pesky spy fox. <laughs> <laughs>